A lot of people in Las Vegas saw these interesting lights in the sky. They looked like a huge UFO hovering above the clouds. I was initially confused by it, but then Taivan Tuntija posted on Metabunk that it looked like light pillars seen from below. And TC Thomas 51 on Reddit matched a couple of the light shapes to a map of nearby hotels. And this is actually what it is, light pillars. Since it creates a small map of the city in the sky, I'm going to call it a light pillar map. A light pillar is a somewhat rare atmospheric phenomenon where ice crystals form in the air in hexagonal plates aligned horizontally. Seen from a distance, bright lights behind and below the layer reflect off the tiny horizontal crystals at different altitudes, creating a pillar effect. Most commonly seen with the sun, you also see it quite dramatically with bright building lights at night. From below, the reflections are generally not that visible as they get lost in the light pollution. But if you have a light shining straight up into the layer, then it will reflect straight back down off millions of ice crystals and you'll see that light seemingly reflected off the sky. What you're really seeing are vertical pillars of light, probably each a thousand feet long, but viewed from underneath. So all you get is a bright spot for each light. In Las Vegas, there are lots of lights. Some of them point straight up to illuminate the sides of the casinos. These are called up lights or up lighting. So when we look up in Vegas into the ice crystal layer, it's like looking up into a giant mirror that's 15,000 feet above you, but all you can see are the up lights. We flip the mirrored image to overlay it on the map. These two curved shapes are the up lights around the wind and the encore. You can clearly make out the shapes. The red lights are the red up lights at the ends and center of the Hilton at Resort Worlds. We can also see other hotels with powerful up lights, the Stratosphere, Palace Station, and Trump International. It's a map, a light pillar map. The flashing white light is from the promotional searchlights at the Sapphire Club. Remember, we only really see up lights here. So we only see the searchlights when they get close to being vertical. The flashing white dot produced appears directly overhead from the sapphire. It's not glinting off anything, it's just a bright up light that's only occasionally vertical. Again, it's just these four spotlights. And since the image in the sky is like looking at a map of the city, or looking down from 15,000 feet, all we see is an occasionally bright dot exactly where the sapphire club is on that map. If you don't know there's a light pillar map, this gives the illusion of the searchlights glinting off something. But when you think about the scale and looking down from 15,000 feet, it makes sense. This is something we've seen in the past, but it's rare to get such a great example. There's only two other good examples I know of. One from Shenzhen in China, where we see a little map of the city from above viewed from street level. The Chinese meteorologist described this as warm night light pillars. The other example is from Jura in Finland, where again we see a map of the city lights, this time with visible roads. Meteorologists describe this one as perhaps the only example of such a thing, but I think the Vegas light pillar map is pretty close, except all we see are hotels and a strip club. Why bother to explain something as simple as reflections off clouds? Well, it's not really that simple. A light pillar map is a very rare event, so rare I had to invent a name for it. So it's understandable that people not recognize it and even then not immediately understand aspects like the glinting light. So let's not give them a hard time. Light pillar maps are pretty amazing and unusual. And next time one crops up, then people will understandably think that it's a UFO too. But now you can send them this video.